Imagine walking down a crowded street and having all of these eyes on you, and you're just trapped in this state of paranoia, trying to figure out what about you it is that is making people so uncomfortable. Is it my jawline? My forehead? Do people think I look like a man? It's such a complex feeling as someone who wants to feel included in society. I definitely feel unsafe a lot of the time in public spaces. I think initially people look at me because they're like, wow, here's a tall, attractive woman walking down the street. And then the more they look, they notice that I'm trans and they're like, no way. And then they're just like, oh my God. And then maybe they think, is she a hooker? Is she a movie star? Is she a model? How do I get to know her? Or that's disgusting. It's never positive after they discover that I'm trans, I think. I leave my house with a prayer. Am I gonna get attacked when I leave my house because I don't feel comfortable or I don't feel confident in how I look? Navigating in New York City as a trans woman, you know, it's more psychological. You start thinking, are they looking at me because I'm trans? or some man features are coming through. Like, why is people looking? So I think it's more psychological for a trans person to feel scared in public places, especially when it's a big crowd. I have this everyday mantra, which I tell myself every time as I get ready in the morning that I'm amazing, I'm smart and beautiful and talented because these are also words that I kind of help beat down self-deprecating thoughts that I have of myself. My form of self-expression is through fashion. And for me, every time I step outside of my apartment building, I always get a little bit of anxiety just because my queerness is really visible. So I'm literally wearing who I am on the outside and that's putting myself in a really vulnerable state. So to have all these eyes and judgments and whatnot can be really quite heavy sometimes. At night, dressed the way I do, I think like I attract a lot of attention to myself. There are times where a man will approach me and they think I'm attractive and then they start to talk to me and they hear my voice and then they're like, oh, she's transgender. And then like, I feel like the immediate reaction at that point is like to get angry or to get violent. Why are you walking around like this trying to fool all these men? Like here I was assigned male at birth and I had all these privileges and now I'm like, ruining that, I'm having surgeries and I'm feminizing my body and, and that to men can make them very uncomfortable and very angry. Oh my god, so cute. Can I pet? Oh. <laughs> yeah. to Wawa. Bye, pumpkin. I had a situation once where I'm pretty sure this guy knew that I was trans and like he was talking to me and I talked just like this. I never change my voice. I don't like try to sound like, you know, a cis woman. I just like, I just talk like this all the time. And so I was talking to this guy and because I thought it was just friendly conversation and I thought he was hot, so why not, right? Um, but I could feel that there was a woman, a cis woman that walked by and she obviously gave us like some really weird look like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're talking to her in a sense. and. I could feel his energy shift because of that. And then his response to me was, wait, are you a dude? And I was like, excuse me, in a sense? Like, first of all, that's not the right way to ask that question. And so I just proceeded to, to ask him, did you not know? And then I just like walked away after that. But in that moment, I felt like it would have been easy for him to attack me if he felt like his masculinity was kind of like questioned. For me, maybe sometimes these men don't know I'm trans or whoever I get hit on don't know I'm trans. Yeah, it's like disgusting, but secretly inside you're like, I know I look good. And 
that brings me confident. As much as I hate it, and I think it's disgusting catcalling, secretly in my mind, I'm like, I know I look good. That means I feel, it makes me feel passable when I get catcalled. Some people will say nasty things and laugh at me and mock me. People have always yell things like, is that a man or a woman? Or do you have a dick? Or things like that. And um, it can be really, really scary to be dealing with these people. As much progress as we're making in our society, I think no matter how far we go, we still have that, that, that whole group of like cis men who see trans women as weak boys instead of women. And I think that that's part of the attraction for them too. But it's also a really big hit to like our womanhood. I think that it's a man not seeing a trans woman as a woman and just seeing her for a boy and very weak at being a boy. Dating has been sort of a challenge because I feel like sometimes men avoid openly dating me because they think that to be seen out in public with me or to introduce their parents to me, it would prompt people to like question their sexuality. Like, is this guy gay? Because he's dating a trans woman. The reality is like, I think trans women are like cool and smart and hot and guys should stop being so insecure about it. Like we're women too. I didn't think I looked this good. I'm sorry, I heard you. At the end of the day, we're just like every other person. We just was born in the wrong gender. So yeah, publicly we're transitioning to a different sex, but we're just like you. You know, we walk in the same, same street. We're breathing the same air. We have the same heartbeat, you know? What is different besides me feeling like I was born in a different sex and I want to change that? I wish I could, you know, with these people, talk to them and converse with them and ask them questions. You know, why would you say that? Why do you feel this way? And try to understand their perspective rather than just kind of like brushing it off. And I just think with change, um, a conversation needs to, needs to happen, so.